disobedient that rose up and had out of God's and they was playing. They thought well, maybe they didn't need Jesus anymore. But the Lord told Jeremiah to go to Potter's house and he sat there and he would understand the word that he was given. He saw what the Potter had in clay in his hand, Brother Jim. And he had the power in his hand to take and mold that clay. And he also had the power to destroy the king. And Jeremiah saw it come to him. He knew exactly what the Lord was trying to do. The church that he had told him pronounced there. He told him that he could take to him. Can I not be with you just like the part of it? With this clay. Can I not take you in my hand and break you? And raise you up again. He told him to go there, Brother Jim. I'll pray for him just for a minute. He told him to go there and tell him for the sin, the disgrace that he had brought upon his name and had turned it back on him. He had called him Brother Jim. And sure. They would stand for him and what he had called them. And then planted in the spirit in their minds. And all they come upon, they would rise up and play and turn their back on God just like they are today. People turning their back on Jesus, Brother Jim, every day. They find a different thing to worship. They find a different thing to all their other time. But I'm telling you, Brother Boyce, for every was a time that we raise up and we devote all our time to Jesus. That time is right now because it's running short. It's getting dark out here in the natural real soon. And in the spiritual world again, it's getting dark as well. We're going to do anything for Jesus. We're going to do it now. Whatever we get out of it, we're going to take it by force. Jeremiah, he obeyed the Lord. He pronounced this church to the king of Judah and told him that Babylon and his army was going to come and overtake their cities and towns. Brother Roger, they was going to burn it to the ground through house. Everything that they put before Jesus, pray for him again. Everything that they put before Jesus, Brother Jim. Even the Lord said, He himself, I will come. And I will fight against you if I have to to see that Babylon overtakes you in purpose. Come on. But everything that they put before Brother Roger, this army was going to come to the battle and destroy them. They burned the city. They burned their houses. They burned their fields. After they had gotten done, it was a desolate place. But you know the army there of they took that stood their ground because they knew that they had had it all. They burned them out. And God had a few people that had enough sense for the Jews. Flee to the mountains. Flee to the place of safety. Because the judgment of the Lord was getting ready to fall. And it wasn't nothing. Right. Going to be able to withstand that judgment. Brother Roger. So he told you when I tell you all. And they threw him in prison. Because they thought no there's no way. That anybody can overtake us. This is our town. This is our land. Well, again, God has got a way of getting our teaching. Amen. When we come against the man of God, when we come against the will of the Father, we're going to pay a price that we ain't willing really to pay. Right. And I'm telling you right now, no. Jeremiah suffered it all for Jesus. They thought they in jail. You know, it just amazed me how in his time of trouble, God had a way. Yeah. Yeah. He sent to him his cousin. Y'all please bear with me, I want you to say it real good. But I tell you this, I just said, Brother Jim, I wept. It's amazing how God can take the impossible yes. and turn it around for you if you allow it to. If you give it to him. But that's the thing, Brother Jim, we got to give it to him. Give it all to him. If we hold on to the one thing, you want to tie in the hands of God and he can't move the way that he wants to in his spirit. God's going to raise the people up with the Jesus. But Jeremiah had a cousin that had some money outside of town for that. And the Lord told him that his cousin was going to visit him down in prison. 
And he's going all for this thing, this piece of land. Yes. Jeremiah, he's in his spirit, brother Jim, is kind of like that to the end. He said, What in the world? Do I want a piece of land out here? Let the Babylonian soul stay done, come in and they devour and burn it down. Pretty much it ain't nothing but an old dusty dry field out there. Yes. The Lord had told him to buy this place, buy this piece of land. And he bought this land, Brother Jim. He went down there. Ain't it that just amazes me how he didn't pound in trouble? He was in prison. We prophesied to them that this was going to come. But the Lord made a way for him to purchase this piece of land. And in his spirit, Brother Jim, like I said, he wondered why in the world do you want me to buy this piece of land? He was looking at the time. He was looking at the time, right, at the situation he was in right there. That's right. He had saw no doubt, Brother Jim, he could look out that old prison door and look down through the streets and see the smoke and all the, the devastation that the enemy had caused when he came. But I'm telling you, he bought this field. He stepped out on faith. He purchased this property, Brother Roger. And he wasn't looking at just a little bit farther down the road. The Lord had a plan. You know, it grieved the Lord to have to do this, to allow this devastation to come. But he knew those people that took heed and they ran and they hid. Brother Roger, one day real soon, he was going to call them back. And he said, houses will be bought here again. Vineyards will grow here again. Yes. The fields will be green here again. Yes. We got to look at this no matter what we go through in our Christian walk with the Lord of the Jim. We're going to suffer, suffer, kiss them sometimes. But we got to stay in the of Jesus when it looks like, oh, Sometimes, Brother Jim, God's pulling his judgment out. 
That's why here he had spoke to his people and they took him. If we take him to his word, we can, we can escape a lot of judgment. And violence. Now, the judgment is falling out on Sister Melissa. I'm going to use this for the time. If she had been lollygagging around and not doing what God had called her to do, and He poured His judgment out upon her, and I was standing nearby, this one. The judgment's falling on me. You better watch your company. You better watch what you're running around. You better make sure because your sins. The Bible said we'll find you out. We ain't got time to play about a cake with the devil. You're going to get in and you're going to get out of the way. Because this is a separating time. Amen. Brother Roger is foolish to the world is not seen. Especially to the Christian world. I'm glad we're living in that time. So many people have deceived so many down through life's journey through over the years. It's supposed to be this, it's supposed to be that. People have confidence in them, they fail. I'm glad God is doing this good work. Brother Roger, I'm coming to Jordan. Amen. Just to be able to stand and say something about Jesus. The devil's going to tell us we ain't going to do anything. I'm pleased on time. He's come too late now, Brother Jim, to tell me that God ain't saved. He's come too late to tell me that God ain't healed. Because he's healed my body too many times, Brother Walter. That there was come too late to tell me that we ain't going to do anything. Revival days is not over. Revival is within us, Brother Walter. And it's time that we come alive for Jesus. Don't let the devil get you down because we can't afford to get to a place that it causes us to fall from Jesus. That's right. That's right. We're living in that dangerous time. Pearl is time. You'll fall now, you may not be able to come. Please let that sink in your spirit. We ain't got time to come up short on the team. It's time to be on fire for Jesus. Like Brother Jeremiah did. Well, even though I don't understand, sometimes what you speak to my spirit. Lord, I'm going to go. Yes. Lord, I'm going to say, Lord, I'm going to do what you called me to do. Amen. We've got to put that in our spirit, brother. Roger. As long as we got Jesus, we don't need nobody. Brother Jim, I know it's good and it's comforting to have a brother, a companion, the same body. Lord, he coach you on and tell you it's going to be all right. We're climbing up this mountain, Brother Roger. We're going to make it to the other side. No matter what the enemy says, we're going to keep on putting one foot down in front of the other. There's a brighter day coming in Jesus. we got to hold on. It is just like I said, it's good to have somebody to have confidence in. But I'm telling you, we better put all our trust in Jesus. Because it's the only one that's going to matter, Brother Jim. When all else is failed and everything is turned to come against you, as long as we hold on to Jesus, we can make it through. Yes. He said, when Brother Roger prepared a place, and he's made what he ain't going to send us, Brother Jim, out there in a dry desolate and somewhere, for us to dry up and die. He ain't going to lead us out there somewhere to let us alone. He's waiting right there, Brother Bob. Sometimes I think about that song they sing. Sometimes it's a good song. I'm just saying sometimes that song says, Lord, we're waiting down here by the river, Lord Jesus. And if he don't come to my rescue, I might cry. I might drown. I might go out in despair. But I'll tell you what, Brother Jim, we need to turn that thing around. Instead of sitting here waiting by the river, I believe, Brother Jim, we live it down in the time that we got to step out. We got to make our mind up, Lord. I'm coming out into this water to you. I'm not sitting here waiting anymore, Jesus. Too many times we sit there by the shore waiting on Jesus. 
when he's already prepared his for the gym. And he's gave us everything we need to make it, Brother Roger. All we gotta do is step out on faith to tell that devil, you can get on out of here and sit down somewhere. I'm going off with Jesus. Come right away. He is the way of the truth and the life. And there is no other way except through my Jesus. I'm not waiting anymore, Brother Jesus. Every time I get an opportunity, brother, I don't care if it's here or out in town or wherever. Believe me, I've been put to the test. The other night when we was out here, Brother Roger, the first night we had service here, it was just a special kind of moment. It really was. We walked around outside and on the four corners of this place. Oh, Brother Jim, I tell you, I can't explain the way I feel. Oh, yes, we do. It was like, it, I don't know, it was like a vision. Like it, it just flashed before my eyes. Oh, you know, it felt like Brother Bob, you could just, I don't know, I was oh, yes. walking around my eyes closed and something. Man, yes. he just six souls running to that altar. Yes. Brother Jim, it's just like people, they out there with it. It's just like you could see no matter what people would so they were still people pushing on through it. Oh, yeah. No matter what the doctors said, they were still bringing them good reports oh, yeah. of a clear bill of health. You know what? It don't matter what the Lord said. In the time of trouble, we still got Jesus. And He is all that matters as long as we got Jesus. On our side, we don't need anything else. We, we learn, Brother Roger, sometimes we depend on things we don't need to be dependent on. It's like that song says, as long as we got King Jesus. As long as we got King Jesus, we don't need nobody else. Like I said, it's nice to have somebody to have faith in you. But when a push comes to shut Brother Roger, when it comes right down to it, what's going to matter? Is what you got with Jesus. Amen. What's going to matter is what I got with Jesus. Yes. And I'm glad to know Brother Roger that he's a God of love and he's a God of mercy. Yes, he he's so compassionate. Yes, he and I'm glad he's raising us up, Brother Jesus, yes, to do this quick work. Oh, yes. Y'all pray. Oh, I'm telling you now, the place is yet to come. Amen. I know that you ain't shutting me up. I know you ain't shutting me up. God bless you, my God. Get out here like I've said before and preach. Up in the trees, Brother Roger, I'm going to preach this word. Amen. And we're going to be put to the test. Yes, we are. Tell you what, I don't, I don't feel like going on with you, Father. I know I'm short, but please, please take this word. And still in his spirit. Like Brother Jeremiah, no matter the circumstance, no matter what's been, keep your focus on Jesus. Because he's going to bring us through. He can take that dry, dusty place in your life. And he can turn it into a, the most beautiful thing that you ever see in your life. So if you need anything from Jesus, you need to pray. Whatever we need, we can find it in Jesus. Amen. Brother Tim, he's got all that we need. Yes, he does. We just turn it out and trust him. No, he's not changing God. I love you tonight. Somebody wants to sing or you just want to play or whatever. Amen. The day before I come up, Brother Mark and Sam will drop over you. Trust him. You must believe when you call on His name. Lord, touch you, Jesus. His all that really matters. And your life here and there be the same.
in Jesus' name. Thank you. 
Through 